Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and this is just a quick update on my last tutorial that I did regarding mocap motion from video um, and turning that into you know a motion that you can put on your avatar. Um, this is a quick update to that tutorial because you no longer need to use a 3DS exchange. Um, you can actually do that directly in iClone now. So I'm just going to show you how to do that very quickly. So providing you follow these steps um, that you're seeing on screen now, you know, going to plask.ai, um, adding your video with the motion in, and then, um, you know, just um, ex um, rendering that motion off from that video. That will take um, some minutes. Once that's done, dragging that file, as you can see there, dragging and dropping that onto your mannequin that mannequin will then go into your viewport and start to display that motion. Then you just simply want to go up to the mannequin, um, right click on that, and you can then export that motion out as an FBX, as you can see on screen. And once that FBX has been exported out, it was at this stage where you then had to use 3D Exchange. Um, you no longer need to use 3D Exchange anymore. What you can do is exactly what you're seeing on screen. If you just uh, load up that file with your mannequin in and you just simply need to drag and drop that Plast MoCat mannequin directly into iClone. And as you can see here, you can then go back and any motion that you've rendered off from Plask to an FBX, you can now just drag and drop that directly onto your character. Um, and you just hit convert all here. So just ignore that first message, click convert all. That will then convert all of that FBX motion directly onto the character in iClone. So you no longer need to go to Plask. Sorry, you no need to longer go to 3D Exchange. You can get all that motion directly put on in iClone. So, you know, really cool, uh, really cool tip. And, um, you know, where you no longer need 3D Exchange and it just saves you a ton of time. And there you can see the motion from Plask has been placed on that character directly in iClone. Now, to save that motion to use for all of your other characters, you just want to go to your collect clip here, as you can see, go to the very end and you just want to uh, left click on your mouse and drag all the way down and then you can right click and you just add motion to library. And then you can just save that as wrap, hit save. That's now been saved in our documents. So I'll just save that as wrap to. And that's now been saved in the documents and you can go up here, create a new project. You can add add a character and once that character is loaded you'll see I'll be able to go in my documents and then I'll be able to drag that wrap to RL motion that we've just saved out directly onto the character in iClone and you know you can just re reposition her realign her and that motion is then usable on any characters as an RL motion. So, you know, quite important, um, quite a um, really cool way to to actually convert the motion without having to use 3D Exchange. Now, just as a very quick test, let's just see if we can actually use the motion from the FBX directly on the model without even having to use the mannequin to then save the motion. So we'll just go, we'll just go to that FBX file and we'll just drag that and we'll click OK and we'll just see if that converts. Export failed. Um, the following file is not compatible with the current character profile. So you can see that doesn't actually play, that doesn't actually put the motion on so you can't just drag and drop the FBX. You do need to use the mannequin which you can 
uh, you can get from the using the link below you can download that mannequin directly from that link directly onto your computer and then you can just drag and drop that mannequin straight in put the FBX on the mannequin and then convert the motion that way ready for use so I really hope that helped guys it was just a quick update following on from the last tutorial and I uh, really hope that helps you guys get really creative and create some amazing work see you again soon for another tutorial